Excuse me. I'll use that blade of yours. Ugh, curse my luck. A branded. No time to haggle with whoever holds your leash. Wait. That's the slumbering chocobo you're wearing. You in the Marfers, are you? Good. She won't begrudge me the use of you, then. Not well, there's wolves about. We tried dealing with them ourselves. Made out bait, think we might swoop in and slaughter a lot. But we didn't expect the pack to be quite so bloody big. I expect the blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. Well, we'd hoped empty bellies might make them easy prey. We'd made them mean instead. Martha's no fool, so she must see something in you. Do us a favor and get rid of them, will you? All right. I suppose those wolves pose a threat to everyone. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I'd wager the greedy bastards are still over yonder, finishing off our bait. When you've seen to every last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. He'll want to know if he's safe to come across. All right, off you go then. Bryce, let him know the road's safe. You like that, don't you? Wonder how long that bait will last. Are you, Bryce? What's it to you, Bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves. So I got rid of the wolves. You'd have me believe a single bearer slew the entire pack. Then again, if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? <laughs> oh, Frederick! You oily bastard. I never thought to pit beast against beast like that. You served us well, bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks, true master. <laughs> 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 